Hello, uh, the non-master mechanic Nicole here. Um, it's a little joke between my husband and I. He calls me a master mechanic, even though I barely know the basics. Um, I just grew up with the dad that taught me the basics of changing a tire, changing my oil, a little bit stuff here and there, and then YouTube videos. So um, I'm going to show you how to ch uh, adjust valves on a GX Honda or a Honda GX620 or GX series. Um, apparently they're all the same. So I'm gonna show you how to change. Um, I've already changed one side. I'm gonna show you how to do how I did it on the other side. And um, yeah, and if you're a professional and I'd made mistakes, just let me know, but in a nice manner, please. That's all I ask. I, like I said, I am not a professional. I barely know what I'm doing in life, let alone on a motor so or an engine whatever you want to call it so that should tell you right there that I yeah I do what I can so um valve so I got uh tools that you need I'll start off with that um you'll need a 10 millimeter socket um a 10 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench and also a um gauge reader pretty sure that's what it's called um it's this guy right here um you need it for um thousands of an inch so um you'll need the 0 0.006 and a 0 0.008 0 0.008 will be for the exhaust 0 0.006 will be for the other valve um and i'll show you how to do it and fingers crossed <laughs> that this fixes our problem we have a skid steer that um has just been giving non-stop problems but it is from I believe from the 70s my husband said so we might have to upgrade but hopefully we don't because looking at those prices it's just not something I want to spend so but wish me luck I'll show you how to do it and we'll see if it works all right um I am a very beginner mechanic I know the very very little basics and YouTube helps um this is a uh, GX, a Honda GX620 motor. We have it on a skid steer. And our issues that we have been running into is that it runs great um, once we fix the fuel pump. And then um, once it starts running, we shut it off. We try and run it again. And it just won't start. Um, we made a few adjustments. Um with the fuel pump and then we changed the spark plugs. When we changed the spark plugs, again, it ran fantastic. And when we shut it off, we turned down the throttle, turned off the machine and then turned off the motor and black smoke came out. So after a little bit of um, talking with a few mechanics, um, we have come to the conclusion that we need to change or at least test the valve, um, the valve measurements. So, um, so this is the exhaust valve, and um, this is the other valve, and forgive me, I don't know what it's called, but it's the other valve. <laughs> um, so the exhaust needs to be at 0 .008. I got my little reader here, and it's a very it's it's loose for the 008, and then this one needs to be at 0 .006, and you can see how that's really loose. So we're hoping that this is our problem, and I am here to show you how to fix it. Um, from my understanding, um, GX series has the same measurements and same, uh, type of way. I did do the other side already. The only difference is that the exhaust was on this side versus this side, which is not a huge deal. You just gotta look to see where your pipe is. You guys can see my pipe right here. My exhaust pipe is right there. So I know this is the exhaust. Alright. So I have a 10 millimeter and a 14 milliliter millimeter um excuse me if i don't know the other measurements but so we're going to loosen this back nut just a little bit not much because you don't want to make too many adjustments because then it's just going to throw your whole machine off so i had a trouble there we go just loosen it just enough so i can loosen this nut and that's where the 10 millimeter goes and then for this one so just a little bit more because I can't make any adjustments. All right. And then now 
we are going to, since it was loose, we are going to attempt to tighten. And you want to make sure you have this because you don't want to make too many adjustments, like I said. And then when you tighten this one back up, it is going to adjust a little bit. So you just got to keep playing with it. That's what I've learned. Still pretty much the same. So I'm going to do this again. And I it took me about 15 minutes to do the other one, so... It's a learning curve, especially if you're like me. You're a novice. My husband likes to joke and call me the master mechanic. Alright, do just to tighten just a little bit more. But like I said, once you adjust the back one again, um, it's going to change just a tiny bit, so you don't want to make too much changes, because when you tighten this back up, it's going to adjust it. Point zero zero eight because of the exhaust. And just a tiny, tiny bit more. And there, see how it's a lot easier, but I'm going to do just a tiny bit. Again, hold on, James. That's my top one. Oops. There we go. That's where we want it. So now the exhaust one is done. So this one wasn't this one. See how it's very loose. So this one's going to take a little bit more adjusting. That was a lot easier to loosen, so it was probably your problem, honestly. Okay, I don't know if that did anything. So we're going to do the point zero zero six for this one. Yeah, see, it's still really bad. Few more adjustments. We're just gonna go ahead. Come on, fit on there. Maybe I'll do this. getting better so just gotta make a few more adjustments point zero zero six just have to do this back and forth but honestly I'd rather be more sure than anything at some point. It's getting a little better, but I'm still not satisfied with that. And this is we actually had to change out the motor, I think, two years ago. This was a used motor. Couldn't tell you what it came off of, but it was the type of motor we needed. Also, if you don't have one of these um, gauge readers, I think that's what they're called. Um, we got ours at O'Reilly's for 13 bucks, so... Oh, 
Okay, I'll give you a snack in just a second, honey. This is the last time and I, okay, nope, I thought I lost those for a second. That was not the last time. All right, now we're just gonna tighten this back up because it will adjust itself. When this is tight. All right, see, that's too tight now. So we're going to loosen it back up again. See what I mean? It's just a little. Oh, we're getting closer. There we go. See? All right, there's a little bit of resistance, so that's perfect. back. All right, and now, because I didn't video taking the cover, the valve covers off, so we're going to do that. And all right, my gasket's good, just an FYI, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And I'm actually going to leave the oil thing off for a second so I can actually see I had troubles with the getting the bolt to go in earlier, so. And this is a 10, 10, millimeter, 10 millimeter socket, so. My child ran off on me. But I find out. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm getting there. And yes, I could use a longer one, but I have noticed that the shorter ones work because it doesn't hit the exhaust and this thing over here. I got stuff behind me too. Alright. Almost there. Okay, that's done. Add the oil cap back on. Beep boop. And that is changing the um, valves. Uh, adjusting the valves. So hopefully that works. We're going to set um, another new pair of... Um, spark plugs in it and go from there and hopefully it'll work and I will show you guys that in another video. See ya!